close esta primero, Tony. You have to get this out. The owner of a gallery, a woman, a rather important gallery, she asked me where she could come to my studio, and she came, and she liked my work very much, and, and she said, come and see me at the gallery, and so on, which I did a couple of times. And I went one day, and <laughs> she sees me, and she says, Carmen, I have to tell you something. You are a wonderful painter. You can paint circles around the artists I have in this gallery, but I'm not going to give you a show because you are a woman. I was very happy to be ignored because I was interested in painting. A French critic said once that painting was the art of loneliness, and it is. When I'm painting, I have to concentrate on painting. I want absolute silence, absolute quiet. And I had it for many years. I am one of the few artists that do not possess a book of reproductions of Picasso. Oh, a genius, there's no question, <laughs> but I'm not discussing that. But he had a tremendous influence on people. It was hard enough to find my way to have El Señor Picasso in front of me, impossible. And there are very funny stories about Picasso and artists saying that Picasso was imitating them. No, because it wasn't imitating anybody, because it was imitating everybody. One day I was walking on the banks of the Seine where they have stalls with books and magazines, and I came across a magazine that was called Realité Nouvelle. It was a catalog of a very interesting exhibition that had taken place. Everything in the exhibition was minimal, was abstract. When I came across the uh, work of Albert, it really touched me very, very, very much. I also saw some of the Russian suprematists. And in Paris, letting go of the old realities I came in contact with the new realities and I found my path as an artist. Oh, Surbaran, I, I worship Surbaran because I feel in a kind of an incredible way he was a minimalist. And that is true of many of the mystic painters. Uh, Surbaran had a, one fantastic painting, Our Lady spreading her cloth over the monks. And it's so stark. It's, the whites are unbelievably beautiful.
Ah, I love it, but I am one of the few. Most people hate the architecture of the Escorial. It's too simple, it's too forbidding. I don't know what the connotation is. I just go there and I feel very much at home. Most people find it too little. I think it's enough. Escorial means escoria in Latin, which is a dump. I always thought it was a very elegant word. Actually, it was built in, in, in the escoria. It was built in the dump of the city. <laughs> 